some say it was a mini tornado. Others say it was just a wicked wind. But Tolland had a night of fury on 727 when many storms rolled through the state of Connecticut and we got hit badly. All these particular photos that you're seeing here were all taken at Crandall Park. Now, we don't know if the wind started at Crandall Park or if it started in Mansfield or if it just happened to touch down, but all of these particular photos were taken right along the trail that goes beside the pond in the back of the park. Um, based on the direction that they were all facing, it appears that the wind came from the highway Mansfield direction rather than starting here and heading towards Mansfield. All of these pictures, part of the trail was, was actually uh, blocked, so I couldn't really walk through the trail. I had to walk up a hill to get around the blockage. This is, I think, part of the blockage right here. And uh, got all of these images from on top of the hill in Crandall Park. As far as the area is concerned, much of there was a partial road closure right around Crandall Park for a while. Um, all of these were taken around 10:30 or so today on 7:28, and um, there was quite a bit of devastating damage. After talking to some of the people who uh, were in the heart of it, basically down on Goose Lane, they all said that they heard what sounded like a freight train coming through. This is at the side of the fields at Crandall Park next to a house that, that has a barn over there. And as you can see, they had some major damage and this almost looks like a piece of glass or something that might have flown into the park. I'm not sure where it came from. And here we have some flowers showing the incongruity of beauty with destruction behind it. Uh, this was part of the one lane road closure over at Crandall Park. Um, most people could get by it and there was really no problems, but I'm not certain what it looked like at 5.30 this morning. I know that it was probably covered with trees and you probably couldn't even get past it. Um, and, you know, the trees were lied flat. I mean, it could have been a bad wind, it could have been a tornado, we don't know, but it all seemed to be part of the same system. Now we're part, we're, we're looking at Goose Lane, which was where a lot of the destruction occurred. It's been in the news probably since late last night, maybe. Um, we've had NBC News out in Tolland covering it quite fully today. Uh, this is looking down Goose Lane. This is part of the damage over on the side. Uh, I guess, I don't know which, which direction this is. This is really going towards 195 though, all of this area. Um, this is over by some of the businesses that are right on the end of Goose Lane. And this is someone's pool who had their fence flattened and much of their chairs thrown all over the place. So we had crews out there. We've had crews out there for several hours. Uh, we lost our power at around 7.45 last night and we got it back around 12.23. And I went out again this morning at, oh, probably 8.30, I guess. And then uh, it came back on around 10.30. This is a long shot of some of the damage on Goose Lane. I tried to get a panoramic, but probably doesn't really show the, the magnitude of the damage. Um, as I said, we've had lots of people out walking, looking at the damage, seeing the trees that have been turned up. And um, one particular house here actually had a tree come through their window. Um, another house had a tree fall on its roof, but the roof seems to be okay. And other than that, I mean, you know, it was it was quite the night, something that uh, is definitely worth remembering. <laughs> That's why I'm documenting it in this video, trying to get some of the photos that 
we had for this two-day period. Um, this is one of the crews looking at the damage. Uh, here we have the NBC. No, that's the town of Coventry, I guess, even came out. I'm not certain what they were there for. I guess we needed extra help. Um, this is some more of the crews just looking up the road. And we have some of the people, the workers, discussing what to do next, talking about the damage. Um, this is just a little bit of the damage that they're trying to pile together. Uh, Amy Parmenter is the woman that came out to do the newscast today at 11. And here she is starting her documentation of the event. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, even the real estate people couldn't avoid the damage. And this is the sky at around 1230 this afternoon, looking like it was going to almost do it again.